Hey, what's going on guys? Ryzen here. Welcome back to Finding Paradise, the next part of the series. Last we checked, we're learning how to be a pilot. Well, Colin's learning to be a pilot. We're just here to enjoy the ride. Hey, I don't think I've seen you guys around here before. Yeah, I'm trying to find out how to become a pilot. Oh, well, that's simple. You get an instructor and you train. I'm actually working on my own license. Halfway done, in fact. Isn't it expensive to train? Yeah, but that's why I'm working here part-time. The pay is not much, but the discounts on the training flights help. Oh, so work there. That works. What do you guys think about this game so far? Hmm, this is a painting hanging in Colin's attic in the present day. Interesting, so he might have stolen it or something. I don't know, what do you guys think about this game so far? That's amazing, I'm, I'm loving it. Have you guys ever played this before? Hmm. I mean, obviously a lot of people have. It was overwhelming on Steam. Ah, uh, give me my fix, you stupid thing. Why do I never learn? <laughs> I like the tra <laughs> trying a cat on an airplane. What in the world is that? Just leaving something for the class. Maybe the head should have been smaller for our aerodynamics sake. Ah, uh, who cares? It's got extra propulsion coming out of its butt. <laughs> oh, man. These guys were friends for- Oh, she doesn't die or something. That'd be so sad. We do offer flight training, and you do meet the requirements, but it's costly. Is there any other way at all? Well, that's not up to me to say, but... Why don't you check with the owner? He's on break right now, and I'll let him know you're coming. The owner of the entire airport? Yep, it's his family-owned airport. His office at the other side of the hall. Did you hear that? It's family-owned! What does that mean? It means that it's owned by a family, duh. And also that it's probably Mafia. <laughs> mafia? <laughs> what Mafia? I'm right behind you, you know. Yeah, it's just like in The Godfather. Let's go visit. Oh, shoot. I always do that to myself. It's fine. I use OBS to record, by the way. The w what? Ooh, gotta go to his office. Silly kids. Oh, uh, so they go to his office and she's gonna convince him to let him in. She's gonna use her family connections to do it. Hmm, I didn't think about that. You've got to be kidding me. So you're the kid they told me about. <laughs> Look, sir, I don't want any trouble. Of course you don't, son. Hmm. There's word out on the street that you want to become a pilot. Y yes, sir. Hmm. Well. But you have no experience. No, sir. No background. No. And you have no money. I don't, sir. Hmm. Yet you come here on the day of my own daughter's flight exam. To request my hospitality to make use of my facility without an offer. Do you disrespect me and my family's airport? Psst. Tell me you've got strong arms and can help out around the port. Um, I got reasonably strong arms. Oh, are you saying you're up for work? Yes, you are. Y yeah, I, I am. Hmm. Interesting proposal. Well, that's true. There have been a few positions open recently. Hmm, perhaps we could use a hand. Very well. Your offer is one I won't refuse. <laughs> Dramatic. Another armetto sour, Ricardo. And hold the armetto. It's literally right next to you, man. Kid, you work for me now. And with the earnings, you shall pay for your training. One flight at a time. Quick, thank him and step back. Th thank you for your kindness, sir. See? You did it! Wait a minute, all that's happened is just that I applied for a job. Shh. You're practically the underboss now. 
Yeah, he's right, he's right. So, uh, assuming exaggeration of memories, is this like racist to Italians? I can't tell. Italian isn't a race, Neil. But he does seem to have a tendency for getting creative with his memories. Hey, maybe that's just what he gets for watching that movie when he's eight. Anyhow, let's see if the Don has anything for us. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, look at the little cat. <laughs> Did it just die? I think the cat broke. Yeah, I think it died. <laughs> oh, okay. So the armor of sour. Bam! Slappity! Slappity! Shabam! Inside. Insert penis. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm ready. Oh. Obviously, it's the sour, isn't it? I know what I'm doing. Come on. I know exactly what I'm doing. Told ya! Bada boom bada bang. Let's activate this cookie and get out of here. I really didn't think I was gonna enjoy this game. I saw it, I had actually had it on my do not list on my Steam. I didn't want to see it and then I saw some stuff about it. I just really wanted to play it. Finally, some tropical air. There you go, sir. Your armoretto sour. Hold the armoretto. Thanks. Just the way I like it. And for you, lady, your armoretto sour. Hold the sour. Why, thank you. I didn't know you guys make this. Are you going to be able to handle all that lemon juice? It's an old favorite. I wonder if he meets her at the... We're actually here. I wonder if he meets her at the flight school, like if he's the mafia boss's daughter or something, and that's why he has the picture. You've wanted to visit for a long time, haven't you? Is it everything you dreamed it would be? Well, when you've got expectations. But yes, it's still beautiful. How about you, though? Hmm? You know, spending half our savings on a delayed honeymoon and all that. Hey, now's not the time to think like that. Well, we'll bounce back up. Uh, I got quite a few gigs waiting when we get back. Not to mention your new job, Mr. Airline Pilot. Don't jinx it, it might still be a while until I start with the company. Besides, the pay's not gonna be good for a while. Hey, as long as you get to wear those cool shades. Hmm. I talked with Maria last week. We got the flexible hours arranged. So we're ready, huh? Yeah, as ready as we're gonna be. You know, this might be the last trip like this we'll have in a long time. Heh. <laughs> we'll make the little bastard pay for all the vacations we missed one day. In the meantime, all the more reason to enjoy the rest of it. Here's to the rest of it. Yeah, here's- oh. <laughs> Smooth fella. <laughs> Sloppy start. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's the memento. <laughs> All that money and he wasted. Well, that seems redundant. Alright. Maybe they used to spend some time at the beach and enjoy themselves there. Come on, Colin, the water's not that cold. Those marshmallows are totally gonna get overcooked. They're gonna get- they're getting burnt any moment now. Move along. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be on the dock, probably. Oh, nothing on the pier. Come on. There's gotta be something on the pier. Fia? You still awake? Not even close. Told you lemon juice is the way to go. A 
faded painting of Bora Bora. Oh. It says no. A blank sheet of paper. Looks like he's about to lay down some rhymes. Hmm. Told you lemon juice. Yeah, yeah. I need one more memento. Hmm. I think there's still some stuff in here we haven't checked. Okay, like what? Dad hibiscus. Oh! This is more of a suitable place for that kind of flower. Now I can go. Yay! Backtracking! At least it's a beach. It's true, it's better than that rooftop you're always on. I think what helps this game out so much is all the music. The music, music in games and music in movies captures emotion better than words ever could. I think that's what I like about this game too, this emphasis on music. I wonder, it's to the moon like that? Do you guys know? I'd never played it, so let me know. Alright, let's prepare a memento. It's gonna be the alcohol again, because you destroyed it. Oh, come on! Damn it. Come on. How do I... There we go. Uh. There we go. That wasn't it? Maybe that's it. There we go. Alright, I hate puzzles. I hate puzzles so much. Really do. Yeah, let's activate this memento. I got some time. Plenty of time. Always time. Man, I love, love, love this series. Oh, he's almost an adult. Oh, so the crossroads for him is that he has probably two women he loves, and then... I don't know. Hey, your shift's about to start at the shop. Okay, I'm almost done here. Did you even get your homework done yet? I'll do it when there's no customers. Sneaky, I like it. Did you get your done? Did you get yours done? Heh <laughs> good one. These guys are spending so much time together. Psst, that new kid they hired is really quiet. Yeah, but at least he gets the work done. Doesn't he have a scheduled flight this afternoon? Yeah, but we're a plane short because someone snagged a blown tire. Wow, well, well. Unless someone gets cancelled, I don't think he'll get to fly. Does he even have an instructor yet? Beats me. Hey, I think they're talking about you. I know, I know. Shh. Quiet ones hear a lot more. Hmm. <laughs> Here, let me get that for you. You just gotta unhook it from the inside and BAM! Check that out. Wow, that is some crazy maneuvering, kid. I've been here for years and I can never figure that thing out. You must have, like, some kind of magical vending power. Um, I only know because I have to clean it, so... Yeah, that's true. Here's you with your little same notebook. A blurred entry about working at the airport and Faye falling asleep on the wing of the plane. There are also some random class notes. Read? Well, yeah. The... oh my gosh. Okay, I have no idea how to fly planes, nor do I care to learn now. 
so I will I'll skip that part. <laughs> All right. Let's get your customers, buddy. Okay, here's twenty-four dollars and change. Wow, that's a lot of pennies. It's okay, I've all day. Wow, that's a lot of pennies. Oh, I already said that. Yeah. She's always sleeping. Just like that, huh? I guess everyone has their reason to start flying. Hmm, and what about you? Well, just between you and me, flight instructing isn't my real passion. In fact, before I came here to teach, I was an acrobatic sky riding pilot. What? Wow, like making stuff appear in the sky with plane trails? Yep, I was darn good too. But then I got fired. Why? Total discrimination, I tell ya. It was all because they found out I'm an illiterate who dropped out of school. Did they care that I was the most skillful pilot in the fleet? No. But just because I don't read good, they dropped me like a hot potato. Ah, uh, it riles me up just thinking about it. Yeah, that doesn't really sound fair. Well, um, maybe if I need your service one day, I'll be able to hire you. Thanks, kid. Man, first you give me my soda, then you vow to give me my life meaning again. I see then, I'm gonna have to flight instruct the heck out of ya. That went well. <laughs> I love this kid. She sure makes herself at home. Hmm, we might be in a bit of a rut. There's still a memory link missing, and the readings indicate we've activated everything in the area. Uh, maybe we could simulate his memory somehow. Hopefully, let's keep her eyes open. No, oh, well, there's, uh, there's her up here. Maybe it's just painting again. Come on. Oh. Did you feel that? What? I don't know, some kind of breeze. Hmm. Let's go back outside. That wasn't open earlier. Did you do that? Uh, if I did, you would know. I've been literally right behind you. In fact, I, I don't even know what I'm following you in such a constant manner. Hmm. What's going on? A rogue memory. Oh crap, what a- what the hell? What the heck is this? I don't know. But it seems like this may be our ticket out of this memory. So what? We needed a wake to continue and this place just magically opened itself up? In the most unsettling way, no less? I'm not sure what's going on with this place either, but there's only one way to go now. Come on, we gotta jump. Oh, hey, oh no. I can't even look down. That's the only way to find out, Neil. Okay, I'm jumping in three, two... If <laughs> just falls face first. Quit pushing me off ledges! What? I didn't push you. The hell you didn't! Oh... Whoa! Hey, you hanging on all right? What is even going on and why is this happening? Wait, turn your ham down. I think I see them inside. What is even going on and why is this happening? You're doing just fine. We're not gonna die. Now, do you have the runway in sight? I, I think so. Okay, fly the approach, and don't forget the cockpit check. Um, mixture full rich, uh, primer and unlocked. Zero Yankee Romeo, cleared to land runway 21. Zero Yankee Romeo. We're too high, get some flaps in there. Speed! Lower the nose! Alright, I have control. Oh, thank god. There it is. Hold on. Looks like we're gonna land. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's all stressed out. Hey, uh, you all good? No, Eva, I'm not all good. In fact, I'm dead. <laughs> Get the hell up! <laughs> Game over. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, man. Is it normal to feel kind of dizzy? Don't worry, you'll get past it in time. You know what? Here, take my hat. Hmm. Ah, you remind me of me. What? Oh. You remind me of when I was a lad. As in, back then, I also knew someone else who was nervous like you. Hey, you look pretty cool in that. This was nothing compared to the acrobatic sky riding flights I've done, I tell ya. One day, I'm, I'm gonna get back to that. Sure. Maybe the hat's the memento. Yep. Bam! Right to the noggin! Another headshot, Eva! No scope! Booyah! Give him the concussion! Yeah! <laughs> You're lucky I programmed my head to be hard as a rock. You sure planned ahead. Yeah, let's prepare this memento while we're at it. It's probably the hat. Okay, send that through. Just gotta get you. There we go. One more. Come on. One more. There we go. Hey, I'm nailing it. And we're gone. Oh, that's awesome. Damn it, Barry. <laughs> Sophia, will you marry me? Well, he did warn him. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> so that's why he got fired. So that, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the memento. Oh. Wow, that was fast. That was a really fast memento. He doesn't care so much about this, does he? Um... Maybe it's the hat again. Let's see. That's it. And we're good. Alright. Seriously? Only one single orb for the memory of his proposal? Hey, at least he remembered it. <laughs> we're getting really close to the center. I want to find what, what is the center, because that's obviously the vortex of what all the issues are in this. What do you guys think? Hell, we might find out soon enough. Man, how are you able to pilot an airplane and, but not drive a car? Priorities, thanks to you. Come on, we're gonna be late. Hmm. She's sure getting lots of screen time compared to his wife at his proposal. There's, there's something about her that really bothers me. Oh, don't take it so personally. It's not like Colin's your husband. That's not what... Uh, never mind. 
Yeah, there's something that's not right about this, because she, she caused a rift in him, obviously. Hey, actually, what's the matter? You know, uh, I think I'm going to pass on this one. It's your first rehearsal with them, right? And you're nervous enough as it is. Hey, I'm not nervous. And even if I, uh, uh, were... Well, you being there would help. I guess, but... I can't always hang around, you know? Besides, you'll be able to concentrate better without me hanging about. Hey. Remember how you always used to tell me about your day after school? Why don't you go on ahead and you can tell me all about it after rehearsal. Okay, then it's decided. Bye! You'll be fine. Wow, what a wacky gal. So she's distancing herself from him. She's gonna break his little heart. Hey, get that horn off the couch before it gets drool on it. Oh, relax, there's already drool everywhere. Okay, so... That didn't help me with anything. Ooh, what's up with the tone of the music here? It's kind of creepy. Hey, this is the same con- Oh, he meets his wife here. Hey, the rehearsal's about to start. Chop chop. Oh, no. He meets his wife here. A couple of blank pages. Oh, no. He meets his wife here. Maybe she sees him hanging around this, uh, around Sophia a lot. And he's split between the two. Is this the right place? Uh, I can't believe I'm late. Was that Sophia? I guess so. Hm. That's funny. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, stop, stop, stop everything. Something was off around bar 36. From somewhere on my right side. By someone in the cello section. Someone sitting in the second row toward the front. <laughs> Colin, is it? I think you were rushing a bit. Better watch that. I will. This is calling him out like that. All right, let's pick back up from bar 35. Okay, right into the solo. Ready? I'm ready. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's beautiful. So that's when they first meet. That's awesome. <laughs> that's... I'm sorry, I'm enjoying this music for a minute. Uh, what do you guys think about this, by the way? Um... Who do you think you should have went with? Sophia or Faye? And I wonder what made it happen. Hmm. Yeah, let's prepare this memento. It's gonna be the diary, right? Yeah. Come on. There we go. And I am a magic man at this sort of stuff. Let's activate the memory. That's crazy. Okay, so now where are we? Uh, it's weird how it's jumping back and forth. It puts an interesting narrative to it. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. Alright, I'm done with mine. <laughs> me too. Let me see what you... What is that? My best effort. Going on dates already? He sure moves fast. Well, we're still skipping around. Some time's probably passed. Huh. What's his look like? Ugh. Not quite as... Jeez. Wonder who he learned to draw like that from. Oh, yeah. 
He was almost molded by his childhood by this- by that girl. Alright, let's see if we can find, uh, what else is- What else we got here? So one of their first tastes is aquarium, huh? Hey, where's it going? Wow! For cephalopod, it sure is cuddly. It actually kind of tickles. Ugh. <laughs> That's a regret. <laughs> I wonder if it's going to give us the option to uh, change some of these scenes for him. And I hope to goodness I can stop doing all these dang memory shards when this is done. That would be cool if it let us choose some stuff, but if it doesn't, I mean, I understand that too. Dr. Rosaline. Oh my god. What are you doing? Jellyfish! Uh, are you feeling alright, Eva? So many of them! Well, uh, it's good to have interests other than gardening, I guess. I'll go ahead and handle this one. Well, I guess I've always loved the piano, but... When I was a kid, I had a piano teacher. Every time I played, she made me feel like the worst pianist in the world. For a while, I stopped going and I, I stopped playing. But I guess I was a kid with no self-esteem, because <laughs> it really got to me. And whenever I doubted myself, I'd remember her words. One day, I had enough. And I said to myself, someday, I'm going to be a concert pianist. But isn't that letting her dictate what you do with your life? Well, I guess I have a weird way of seeing things. To me, it doesn't matter how much... matter much which path I take, as long as I make the most of it. There's only so little time in this life, and we'd never be able to do all we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things to try, other paths to take. So, in the end, I think I just have to be satisfied with the ones that I took. But I'm just blabbering now, enough about me. Yeah, but she's right. You can always say what if, but you made the choices you made. And you should learn to be happy with them. I wouldn't change a damn thing about what I've done in my past. How about you? What made you want to become a pilot? I... I wanted to fly to places. That's it? Oh, I can't be as deep with her about it. A long time ago, a friend of mine went somewhere far away. I guess I just... I wanted to go find them again. Anything important going on up there? Not sure, I was staring at the sharks. <laughs> okay, call me when you're ready to move on. <laughs> There's the memento. Man, this this freaking game knows how to capture the right emotions. I know this is gonna be a bit of a longer episode, guys, but I just I want to keep going. I don't want to stop playing. I think it's the plane, right? Yeah, it's the airplane. Gotta find a way to get you up. Up. Up, and we got it. Cool. Hey, we're going to move on now. Go on then, I'll catch right up. Alright. Oh. Uh, we're almost in the middle of his life. You sure are taking your time. Hey, no one's kicking me out. Good thing I got my hours in time, huh? You better have, it's gonna be a different world out there. You ready to go? Yeah, in a moment. You done with your jellyfish phase? It's not a phase, and yes. What's going on here? I'm not sure yet, but the place sure looks deserted. Wanna draw a plane? No one will be here to see it anyway.
Maybe the place closes down and he takes some stuff as a memento. Oh, yeah. You've always liked that picture, yes? I had them save it for you. Just a little something to remember this place by. Thanks, boss. You've done good work for us, kid. Honest, respectful work. Oh, and I almost forgot. Your favorite plane's still here for one more day before we move her. If you want to give her one last flight before then, it's on the family. Oh, okay, so we'll go outside and see the plane. God, I love the music to this freaking game. It's just beautiful. That sucks. Comes to a close. Let's see if there's any more memories around. No? Probably gotta go outside now. Locked. So it'll be out this way. <sighs> okay, or not. Okay, well, where's, where's the second memory at? Gotta be... Something else. Maybe down here. Yeah, it looks like it. Outside, maybe? Oh, yeah. I thought it'd be out by the plane. Oh, look, the little bird. So, what's the next step? With the airport closing down at all? Sure. Hmm. Well... There's the freight flying job I applied for. I did an interview with him the other day, and I think I got a good chance at it. There's still a long way to go, but that'll help me build some more flight hours. Wow. To think you've actually come so far. It feels like only yesterday we're still we were still standing on that balcony. There's a hibiscus plant right there. Thanks for kicking. Thanks for giving me the kick I needed, by the way. Happy to have obliged. Hey, any progress with that lady from the orchestra? Sophia? Well, we've been talking, and... I don't know, I might try to ask her on a date soon. But, well, you know how I am with that stuff. Wanna help me prepare? Oh, I'm not sure if I'd be much help with those sort of things. But if you want advice, I'd say to just work on making yourself more interesting, blah blah. Yeah, yeah, still a work in progress. We haven't been talking as often lately, you know. Sometimes, even when I'm here, you just do your own thing. I know. Sorry, it's just, it's been so busy. The good kind, though, right? Seems to me like you've got it together. I... Who's that? Hey, you gonna take up that flight the boss offered? Barry said that there's a grass strip near the hill we used to go to, right? Might be a good time to try a landing there. Yeah. You coming along? Mm-hmm. Oh, she's in love with him. Oh, he's gonna break her heart. Oh, that sucks. Because you started talking to that orchestra chick. <laughs> That's sad. It's always a child that loves her the strongest. You know, your your hormones and your emotions are at their most vulnerable at those times, you know? It makes sense. Nah, I gotta go the other way. Damn it. How depressing, though. You know, they grew up together. They were their best friends together and... Soulmates, almost. At least they grew together to be that way. Let's see if I can't go out this way now. Come on. Don't make... Oh, I'm going to be so angry if I have to go back. Oh. Oh. Ah. That's what I get. I'm... 
stupid, I guess. Hmm. Uh, this game's hard to just talk in because you just, you want to capture the emotion that you have going on. Let's talk to her, see what happens with her. I bet it's a stupid hibiscus, isn't it? Sheesh, are these just spreading hibiscus seeds wherever they go? Where's the memento? He sure didn't make it easy on us by being ambiguous with the details. Here, I got an idea. Received permanent marker. <laughs> there. Now let's go get paid. <laughs> you moron, you can't just draw a smile at him like that. Lips are red, not black. Great job, now he looks like an affectionate joker. <laughs> we've got- we've almost burnt through all the memories, haven't we? I guess the vortex should just be up ahead. Good, maybe- maybe that'll help us get to the source of what he wants. As if we don't know that already. Hmm? It's her, obviously. There's a reason she keeps showing up. The guy's clearly got his childhood sweetheart on his mind and has been asking what ifs. He wants her, but he's got principles, so he knows he can't have her. The perfect equation for a sad, sad man who needs our help hacking the root of the problem. Are you suggesting to remove her? Well, if we do, you'd be the expert. But whatever happens, we'd have to change something. And in the end, she's the one we could alter the most anyhow. Colin himself said we should try to avoid changing things involving his family, right? And out of these memories, Faye's the only other consistency that we kept keep coming back to. I guess you're right. We could start with her and work our way up from there. But something still doesn't add up. Hello! C could it be? It's me, Roxy. I'm here! Oh no. How's it going in there? Uh, awesome, of course. <laughs> you had to fix the freaking mustache real quick. With the lips. How, uh, how are you doing? Did you bring the paperwork? Yep, I brought the paperwork all right. I also brought Rob. What? I can't stand that guy. I can hear you. Hi, Rob. Hey. <laughs> Anyways, you guys want to come out real quick to get that paperwork done? We're kind of on a roll here. Maybe we should just ask them to help us with the papers. Oh, by the way, Neil, I was gonna ask. About the machine. I'm heading out, get the forms ready for a fill-in. Wait, what? You know the protocol, Ziva. Colin's our patient now, and one of us has to check the forms. Yeah, but we've let others help before, and headquarters never cared. Maybe we should have cared, Eva. Maybe we should have cared. <laughs> when were you one for protocol? Anyway, get that last memory link while I'm gone, will ya? I won't take long. And call me when you're ready to go to the next memory. I don't want to miss it. Hey! What the hell, man? <laughs> Act 2. You don't have to leave anymore. Act 2? I didn't realize there was an act. How many acts are there? How long is this damn game? So, let me get this straight. You took apart the whole machine because the maintenance department sucks, but... Look, it was the easiest way. Had I just left it to the company process, it would have never gotten done. Much like this paperwork. Oh my gosh, I just realized you're talking and writing at the same time. That's amazing, I hope I didn't cause you to make a mistake, I'm, I'm so sorry. You know, sometimes even I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. And that's saying a lot. Coming to think of it, you actually remind me a bit of someone from this patient's memory. She's wacky and all over the place, too. Oh, I bet I would have loved to meet her. I'm sure you would have. Too bad we're gonna have to do something about her. Anyhow, whoosh, the paperwork's done and signed. Thanks for bringing in the docs, Box. Rocks. I'm gonna go check on Colin. Oh, you're just gonna get away like that? You might have fooled even Rob, but did you think you could fool a fellow technician? 
I did a quick diagnostic earlier. Seems like you've done more than just removing the stabilizer. The machine you're using here isn't even your official Sigmund equipment, is it? Because your registered machine is back at headquarters, in your office. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm gonna find out. Uh, hey Rob, how's the situation looking? It's fine, I was talking with a medical doctor and... Hmm... What's with the murderous atmosphere? Oh Rob, you tripping again. No, I am not in fact tripping again. Is everything going okay in here? Swimmingly, Neil was just gonna go check on Colin. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go check back on Colin. <laughs> oh shoot. Alright, well, I think that's a good place to end this for today, guys. We are on Act 2. I wonder how long this game is now. I wonder if it's gonna be like four hours. It's gonna be a long playthrough. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you don't care for it being this long. Well, I'm sorry. Deal with it. I'll see you in the next part.